Hey guys, it's six o'clock, which means it's time for another Magic Live right here on Slightly Unusual Magic TV. My name's Craig. Now, the last couple of videos, I've done some ace, uh, ace locations. Yesterday, I did Estimation Aces by Paul Gordon. The day before, I did a, uh, a Greg Wilson production. I'm going to do one last one, so we've got kind of three days of uh, Ace productions. Today, I'm going to do, I've left the best till last. Uh, I'm going to do a John Bannon production, um, which he put in his book, Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, it's an amazing production. Um, I, I'm going to do two productions actually the first one is mine and i released this on my parlor dvd it's kind of like a, a very easy blossom style production but then we're going to lose the cards into the pack and we're going to go into john bannon's production from um a smoke and mirror so i hope you enjoy it let's uh, let's go for it let's do this um i have sarah behind the camera with me and she's going to help me Sarah, we're going to try and find uh i'm going to try and find a four of a kind what you have to understand is in the deck of cards there's 13 values they go from ace all the way through to king um in a minute you're going to pick a card now sarah whichever card you pick i'm going to try and find that many cards i'm going to find the other three cards of that value in a specific amount of time the amount of time it's going to take me is dependent on the value you pick. So in other words, if you picked a seven, I'm going to find the other three sevens in seven seconds. If you pick a 10, I'm going to find the other three tens in 10 seconds. So my goal is for you to pick a card that's kind of high so I get a little bit more time to find it. Uh, so Sarah, as I, uh, as I go through the pack, anytime you want to, just say stop. Stop. Right there. So uh, let me have a look. What do we have? We have uh, an ace. We have an ace. Now, Sarah, an ace can be worth 1 or 11. So I could either use uh, it as a 1 or 11. Would you like me to have 11 seconds to find the other three aces or one second? One. Thanks, my loving Welcome. wife, everybody. One second to find the other three aces. Well, I've got the ace of clubs, so that's one. One second looks like this. Watch. Three, two, one. It's kind of quick. I mean, it is a pretty fast production mm -hmm. right there. And and that's, that's off parlour, but we're going to go into the John Bannon thing uh, right now. So now that I've found the four aces... You're probably wondering, how can a magician find aces from a shuffle deck of cards? Because that's a crazy weird thing to be able to do. Um, well, it's all to do with practice. Like anything, practice makes perfect. So when you're practicing finding the four aces, the first thing that you want to do is put the aces face up into a face down pack. You see, if you put the aces face up into a face down pack, it makes it easier to know whether you've, uh, you've done it right or not. Because once you've shuffled the cards... The aces are face up, so it makes it very, very easy uh, to know whether you've cut them or not. And then when you've got that and you can do that, then you can shuffle them in face down and find them face down. The hardest thing to do is to have the aces go face up into a face down deck, but then shuffle the cards face up into face down. That makes things very difficult. And the reason that makes things very difficult is because now we've got cards face up and face down. As I, as I cut through the pack, you can see that there's, there's face up cards, there's face down cards. It's very difficult. And uh, the more I cut, the, the more it mixes up. But if I cut in the right spot, I can get right there the first ace. Now let's see if we can do that again. Uh, it does get harder as you go. Uh, so I'll tell you what, the second one, watch, I'm gonna take this, uh, this packet and just rub it there on my sleeve. And as I do, I manage to get the second ace. Um, that's two. Let me see if I can do the next one. And as again, again, you know, the problem here is they're face up, they're face down. Uh, but let me see what I can do if I just do that. There you go. That's the third ace. That's number three. Leaves us with one final ace. Now, the last one is the hardest one, uh, because as I said to you before, as I go through the pack, you can see there's face up cards, there's face down cards, cards face up, cards face down. So it makes it very difficult to know exactly where I'm going to cut, exactly how I'm going to find the card. So the final ace, in order to find this one, all I have to do is snap my fingers and I've sorted every single card out in the pack. You see, all of the cards are now facing the right way. Which means that now to find the final ace, the ace of hearts, if I snap my fingers, now one card turns over in the middle and that one right there is the final ace, the ace of hearts. And that's how you learn to find the four aces in a deck. So there you go. The first bit was from me and the second bit was from John Bannon. And also a big thank you to Gary Jones because that presentation that I used with the first routine uh, where they pick a card and you have an X amount of time to find it, that's all Gary Jones. So Gary Jones is amazing. John Bannon's amazing and I'm okay. Guys, do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, and if you give it a down vote, I'm gonna find you and I will kill you. I'll see you tomorrow.